Welcome everyone to Fire Emblem, the Blazing Blade. So, first things first, we are going to name our avatar, which will take the role of the tactician in this game. Prologue, A Girl from the Plains. Are you awake? I found you unconscious on the plains. I am Lynn of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Patrick. Your name is... Patrick? What an odd-sounding name. Uh, thanks? But, pay me no mind. It is a good name. I see, your I see by your attire that you are a traveler. What brings you to this Sakai Plains? Would you share your story with me? Well, I was just passing through, and then suddenly gravity decided to be a jerk and bopped me on the head with a pine cone. Hmm? What was that noise? I didn't hear anything. I'll go see what's happening. Patrick, wait here. Oh no! Bandits! They must have come down from the mountain! They must be planning on raiding the local villages. I... I have to stop them. If that's all of them, I think I can handle them on my own. You'll be safe in here, Patrick. Okay. What? You want to... to help? Well, can you use a weapon? I didn't say anything. Ah, I see. So you're a strategist by trade. How'd you know? And not profession, but... Very well, let's go together. This girl's gonna get me killed. Over here. If you want to help, Patrick, I could use your advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. All right. <clears throat> so, well, for this portion of the game, it serves as a tutorial on how to control units and and how to use items. As you can see, your playable units are blue and the enemy units are red. And I'm green. So, uh... Sorry if I sound a little off. I think ink my my throat's a bit scratchy. But it's nothing to worry about.
Uh oh, that bandit spotted me. He's coming this way. Let's close in and attack. I have to be right next to him to attack. Now strike. That was a 39% win. How'd you get hit by that? It, victory! But I've been injured. I have, have need of a vulnerary. Oh, I get it. It was context sensitive. There was another bandit over, over by the Gur to the west. You don't know what a Gur is? It's a type of round hut. Many nomads live in huts like these. Hmm. I would do well to use this time to administer first aid. I'm carrying a couple of vulnerabilities in my satchel. They should heal me up. Would you get one for me? Now, let's go get that brigand over by the girl. Who do you think you are? You think you can stand up to the bottom of the beast? Stop. It all comes down to the next blow. Patrick, if I fall, I want you to flee. You must escape. And that's a critical. What? How? How did you... Very nice. Whew, that was close. I sorely underestimated him. Sorry if I worried you. I'll need to be stronger if I'm going to survive. Strong enough that no one can defeat me. Link gains experience in each encounter. When she has enough experience, she will level up. As she increases in level, her abilities improve. Over time, she will grow much stronger. It's time to bring this chapter to a close. Select Lin and move her to the gate where Bada the Beast was standing. Select Seize to complete Lin's victory and your own. Good work, Patrick. Let's go home. I'll be right back. I gotta get me uh, a drink for my throat.
I'll write him back. Good morning, Patrick. Are you awake yet? That fight yesterday must have taken a lot out of you. Say, Patrick, I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. I mean, I've covered wars. Would you allow me to travel with you? Where are your parents? What? You want me to get permission from my parents? My mother and my father died six months ago. My people, the Lorca, they don't... I'm the last of my tribe. Bandits attacked and... They killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. My father was our chieftain, and I wanted to protect our people. But I'm so young, and our people were old-fashioned. They wouldn't follow a woman. No one would follow me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been alone for so long. No. No more. I will shed no more tears. All right, I'll go with you. Thank you. I'm better now. Patrick, I want... I must be strong... I must become stronger. So that I may avenge my father's death. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't become stronger by sitting here alone. Patrick, tell me that you'll train me. That you'll let me travel with you. Okay. You will? That's wonderful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We'll be better off working together, I know it. And you'll be my master, strategist. And I'll be your peerless warrior. We can do it, right? Travel with Lynn, give her your aid, and master the art of combat. Complete the tasks set out in each chapter. Turn the instruction window on or off by pressing select. The Apprentice Tactician Patrick and the Young Swordfighter Lin. A strange pair on an even stranger journey. To prepare for the long road ahead, they go to Bulgar, the commercial center of Zakay. Unbeknownst to Lynn, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. Chapter 1 Footsteps of Fate Patrick, over here. This is Bulgar. The biggest city in all of, all of Sakai. We should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh my heart! What a dazzling vision of loveliness! Hmm? Wait, O oh be beauteous one. Would you not favor me with your name? Or better yet, your company? Where are you from, Sir Knight? That you speak so freely to a stranger. Ha! Huh. I thought you'd never ask. I am from Lycia. I hail from Kaelin Canton, home to men of passion and fire. Shouldn't I be home to callow oafs with loose tongues? Oh, you're even lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Patrick. I have nothing more to say. Wait, please. Sane, hold your tongue. Ah, Kent, my boon companion. Why so severe in an expression? If your manner were more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete. I know that. But how could I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? 
it would have been dis discourteous. What do you even know of courtesy? Excuse me, you're blocking the road. If you would be so kind as to move your horses. Of course, my apologies. Thank you. You at least seem honorable enough. Hmm? Pardon me, but I feel like we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent. I saw her first. It seems there are no decent men among Lysias' knights. Let's go, Patrick. I've run out of patience. Wait, please. It's not like that. Hmm. Sane, you lout. Huh? Not like that. I thought you were... I am not you. Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be. Be what? She's our mission? You're joking. Wait! <clears throat> Run! We're being pursued! Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood. <laughs> Aren't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. The things I'll do for gold. Ah well, time to die, darling. Come on out, boys. Oh no. There are more than I can handle, but I'll not give up. Hey, there she is. Huh? What? Whew, finally caught up. Hold, you there. What is your business? Such numbers against a girl. Cowards, every one of you. You, you're from... We could discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean you to do mean to do harm to you. If it's a fight they want, let's give let them look to me. Stand back. I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight. Stay out of my way. Hey. Well, I can't just stand here and do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us. I am Kent, a knight of Lith a knight of Lycia. My companion is sane. We will follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, my lady? Yes it is. Patrick and I will lead. Let's go. You You are called Patrick. I want to impress my beauteous one. Let me attack first. Yep, there's no turn wheels or her divine pulses in this game. It's just good old fashioned permadeath. Whoa, I missed? Sane, why aren't you using your sword? The lance is more heroic. A knight should look heroic, don't you think? You're hopeless. 
if you don't take fighting more seriously, you're going to find yourself on the end of the blade. Truth be told, I forgot to buy a sword. Forgot? Or were you simply too busy dallying with the ladies? Don't be so mad. I'll be fine with a lance. I'm that good. I prefer to rely on your skill, not your empty bragging. Take my spare blade and use it to attack next time. Are you sure? My thanks, Ken. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Almost. Patrick, allow me to make up for my companion's blunder. I am at your command. Weapons possess a unique hierarchy. Swords beat, hordes, swords beat axes, axes beat lances, lances beat, beat swords. This is called the Weapon Triangle. The enemy wields an axe. Use a sword for my attack. He's almost defeated. Now let's deliver the final blow. I must be next to the enemy. Patrick, give me another chance. <clears throat> that was an 87% and sane. Gah. Sane, are you alright? Yes. Yes, I am. I was able to dodge in time. I can't believe he evaded my sword stroke so easily. This is no jest. Look, look closely. The enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? You're right. I was so focused on attacking. I didn't see. Your lack of attention may someday cost you your life. Fine, I understand already. Let it go, Kent. If you truly understand, then act like it. Kent worries too much. He's going to grow old before his time. I am ready for battle. Command me as you will. Let's use my sword. Good job, Kent. It seems like a wise decision to leave that bandit to the knights. For my part, if I'm going to take care of the other foe, I'll need to close the distance between us. The knight said that woods are advantageous, right? In that case... That looks good. Let's move there.
You. Your name is Sane, right? Yes. Sane the Gallant Man of Kaelin. That's me. If you insist, why have you not healed yourself? Huh? Hey, I've been injured? What a cat I am. To wrinkle with that perfect brow of yours with worry for me. Uh... I was thinking of giving you a vulnerary, but... It looks like you're fine, so never mind. No, wait. I'll take it. Please, I'll take it. <clears throat> I can't keep such a generous offer waiting. The healing power of love awaits you with Yawn Angel. Patrick, tarry no longer. Man, they are really, like, babying you and holding your hand throughout this entire tutorial. So yeah, mounted units can move again. Ah, much better. Thanks, Patrick. And you have my gratitude as well, my angel. Hmm. Mission goals change from chapter to chapter. This chapter's goal is to defeat all the enemies. Hello, Zai Harkius. I'm glad you could make it.
I'm gonna block them off so we can't escape. Won't be enough to kill, but he can take a hit. Accursed knights, always tempering in the other's affairs. Blast. There was only supposed to be a lone girl. Hmm. I suppose that'll do. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Patrick. And now for these knights of Lycia. You were going to share your story with me. Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin and Lysia in search of someone. Lysia? That's the old country beyond the mountains and the, and the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our lord, the Marquis of Kaelin's only daughter. He was heartbroken when his, broken, his own daughter would abandon him so. Eventually, the Marquis simply declared that he had no daughter. And then this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and her, their daughter were living happily on the Sake Plains. The Marcus was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly he'd become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindus. This was also the name of the Marquess's wife who passed away at an early age. Lindus. That she should bear this name thawed the Marquesa's heart. Now, his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days later, sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. But we also learned, and all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone on the plains. I, I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is, is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Kaelin. To the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. But when I, I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It's all so strange. I was all alone in the world, 
and now I have a grandfather. Lindis, I never thought I would hear that name again. Hmm. Wait. That bandit, he called me Lindis too. What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marquis's younger brother. Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Ludgren heir to the Marquess's title. To be blunt, my lady, your existence is an obstacle to your granduncle's ambitions. That's... but I have no interest in inher inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your granduncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Kaylin. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. Patrick, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do? You want me to decide? Of course, your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but... It's going to be dangerous. Eh, I'll go. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you. Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. <clears throat> A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sakai, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Patrick, hold a moment and allow me to tell me a short detour. There is a sacred sword enshrined in, a, in an altar east of here. The people of Sakai go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint. The teachings of Elamine have the have most followers in Alib. It is nice to see that, here at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Old man, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I will not give up the Manikati. The Manikati is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What's good a sword if you don't use it? Use it? In combat? Sacrilege. Sacrilege? I am glass. The gods fear my name. My swordplay is peer peerless. Who names their kid glass? And if I want the sword, then this sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Oof. This is it. It's more magnificent than I had imagined. This sword was made for a swordsman of my skill. Hmm? What's this? I can't draw the sword from the scabbard. The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found... been found wanting. They have rejected you. What? Listen, you senile old fool. If you value you your life, you'll get out of my sight. Curses, miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down stone by stone.
Beg your pardon, my lady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians head in there not too long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The Manikati. They're going to steal it? I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please, help him. Lindus, what are you planning? If you hope to hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. St. Patrick, there are some homes on the south. To the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. Shall I take the lead? All right. Tell me what you would like me to do, Patrick. Say, aren't you the... Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. The bandits may have the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar's walls is cracked and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. Mountains make it more difficult to be hit, but they're difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them at all. Be careful. Do you know how much about the sword held at the altar? It's called the Manikati, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manikati is waiting for its rightful owner to appear. It's so odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who wields it. That was a 46% Saint Kent.
This chapter's goal is to seize the throne. The leader of the enemy is on the throne now. Defeat him and have Lin seize the throne to finish this battle. His name is Glass. Weird, right? He's a sword-bearing mercenary. Think of the weapons triangle. The lance. Of course. More speed is nice. Ah, very good. Take cover in the woods. And Ken can stay back and heal. Gotta love the sprite work on these battle animations. Sprites are truly an underrated art art form. Okay, Kent, I'm going to have you wait back here. Insane, you can come up here and attack 
the boss. Who do you think you are? What chance do you think you have of a, have against me? Weapon triangle? Oh yeah, that's a thing. Good job, Sane. You, you, uh, uh. Nice, you got a strength. Pink level up. That's always good. And we got more vulnerabilities. Sometimes you'll get items after dealing with enemies. A single unit can carry a maximum of five items. You might need to drop some old items to pick up new ones. You can see what items your enemies will drop by checking their inventories. Your clothing. Are you of the Lo Lorca tribe? I'm Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. Are you hurt, sir? Thanks to you, I am unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword. Is it safe? Yes. I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. Now, as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the Manikati. Touch the blade's pattern, and pray for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm? What did... The sword, it's glowing. Ah, hmm. It's the power of the spirits. Lin. They have looked into your soul, and they call out to you. What does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manikati. No, I can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Um... It came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wheeler of the Manikati in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hands. My sword? It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grip the sword, and meet your destiny head on. Yes. Yes, sir. You got the Manikati. So this is the Manikati, a blade with no equal. This is also unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all of Zakay, in my hand. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over the land call out to their proper owners. There's, I know this guy named Alm, who wields this royal sword. His friend Tobin tried to pick it up, but but he couldn't. But Alm, 
he could do it effortlessly. And yet, when I saw you draw that blade, I felt something extraordinary. That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Oh, stop it. I'm nothing special. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Well, the Manikati itself feels very comfortable with you. Does this make it any easier for you to accept? It does appear that either of us as can you it doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. A blade that only I can wield. That seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, Patrick. This is the Manikati. This is my sword. Nice craftsmanship. I must care for it well. What? Madeline's daughter is still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl is traveling with Kent and Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be... Bah! I've heard that Northern Burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must quickly be ended. The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquess's death, due who no doubt to sudden illness, is not far off. <laughs> Soon. Soon Kaelin will be mine. What a scumbag to do that to his own brother. The secrets of her past, revealed in the words of the two knights of Lycia. Now, to meet her grandfather, Lynn heads west. To Lycia, and to her destiny. A mountain range separates the Sakai Plains from Bern. There are many bandits lurking here, the cruelest of which are the Talaver. They wreak havoc in both Sakai and Bern, and their savagery knows no bounds. On her tenth day away from the plains, Lynn witnesses their atrocities herself. Band of Chapter Three: Band of Mercenaries. This place, it's... The entire area is in ruins. Why doesn't their Marcus do anything to help? Talaver Mountain is home to a gang of vicious, ruthless bandits. No Marcus holds the power here. My village was near here, on the other side of the mountain. My people were... The Talaver bandits came at night. It took only one night. The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. They're soulless beasts. I will never forgive them. Never. <clears throat> Lindus. Uh. I'm not running away. I will be back. Someday. I'll be stronger. I will break their swords beneath my... Me. Like twigs beneath the stallion's hooves. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. When the time comes... Bring me with you. Sane. Don't forget me either. Kent. Oh. You too, Patrick. Hi. You're... Thank you. I didn't say anything. Wait right there, little black lady. What are you going to do? Who to apologize, huh? Uh, I... That is, I... 
Hey, she's quite a catch, eh, buddy? I bet she. I bet the boss give her, would give us a pretty penny for her. Yeah, she roughed me up a bit. So I figure it's fair as fair. It's no more than she deserves. Hi. Hi. What are we gonna do with her flying mule? What are we gonna do with her flying mule? Don't you dare touch her. What? You you just watch your mouth, girly. Do what you with me. Just let her go, please. I beg of you. Ha ha ha, silly twit. Pegasi can only be found in Ilya. They're rare beasts. Worth more than you you by far. We can sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go? Ha! No, you can't. Come on, let's move. What's this? Be on your guard, Lindus. There seems to be some sort of commotion over there. That's... that's a Pegasus. Could it be? Florina? Is that you, Florina? Huh, Lynn? Florina! What are you doing in a place such as this? Lynn! Is it really you? I... I... Come now, no crying. I'm sorry. Are you no... Are you two acquaintances? Yes. She's my friend. This is Florina, a big assistant in training from Ilya. She's a little uncomfortable around men. Tell me, Florina. What happened here? Well, um... When I heard that you had left, I decided to follow you. Then I saw this village. I flew down to ask if they had news of you. I didn't see those two, and well... Did your Pegasus, did your Pegasus land on them? Well, I, uh, a little. Uh-huh. You heard her. She admits her fault. She stepped on my friend, and now she's got to pay. Did you apologize, Florina? Yes. I told them I was sorry many times over. They just wouldn't listen. Don't cry. It's all right. Lynn. Listen, she's obviously sorry. Can't we just let this pass? You don't appear to be injured or anything. No chance. The girl goes with us, by force if need be. <clears throat> hey, coming out, boys. It's, the men are at fair game, but don't put a scratch on the girls. Patrick, we've got to fight back. Lynn, hi. You're a Pegasus Knight, aren't you? You can fight, can't you? Yes. Listen. We're facing bandits. They're underlings, but we can't take them um, too lightly. Let's clear them out. Are you ready? The layout of it might not might make it difficult to fight. The same holds true for our foe. If we use these walls just so, they may ensure a victory. Hey Lynn, who's that? This is Patrick. He's still an apprentice, but he's a tactician. Oh, I see. Uh, Patrick, pleased to meet you. The Red Roof buildings are villages. Villages are in danger of being attacked. If an enemy unit reaches the village before one of our units does, the village may be destroyed. As quickly as possible, visit the residents and give them warnings. Only good can come of it. So let's visit them. Please select Lynn. Time to visit a village, right? Let's let's go. Is anyone there? Leave us alone, you thugs. Go away, go away. 
We've no more gold for you. No, wait, please. We're not bandits. We want to help the village. Please listen. Remain inside, everyone. I'll go see what's happening. No bandits, huh? So, who are you? My name is Lynn. My colleagues and I are just traveling through here. We saw some bandits about. We're going to deal with them, but... We need you to go and warn the villagers. Hey, wait. The name's Will. I'm a traveler of sorts, too. Listen, these villagers have been kind to me. Mind if I fight with you? Not at all. We need all the help we can get. Come aboard, Will. By visiting a village, you gain a new companion. Will is an archer. He uses a bow to fight. Yeah, but... Archers kinda suck. I mean, they've been good in a few games, but... In the GBA games, they're not that great. Hey, it's me. Will, remember? Why don't you issue me a command? I'd love to help. Next is Florina. I think it's a snipe. to fight. I'll follow your orders. Knowing your units and their abilities and knowing how to use them in battle is a shortcut to victory. To learn everything about a unit, place the cursor on that unit and press the R button. So yeah, Florina, good speed, lousy defense, and not so great strength either. And Will is relatively balanced. Oh crap. That was an 87. Insane. What the heck, man? And that's how it's done. You might learn a thing or two from Kent Sane. Lynn, what should I do? There's an archer. What? Where? Oh, that's just Will. Hi. You're one of Lynn's friends? Um... What? What is it? Are you unwell? I'm sorry, Will. Her name's Florina. She's timid around men. And you? Well, you have a bow. Oh, I see. You must be a Pegasus Knight. I apologize for frightening you, but I do understand your fear of bows. Hi, um, I'm sorry. Even looking at a bow frightens me ever so much. Of course, I understand. But you should really only fear the enemy's archers. 
not your own. Yes, of course. Units that can fly, like Pegasus Knights, are vulnerable to bow attacks. Arrows will deal critical damage. If the enemy has bow wielding units, you must be extremely cautious. So yeah. Keep her away from the archer. You came for the village to help. You came to help the village. That's good. With so many bandits, I wasn't sure what to do. It's not much, but please, take this money. There's an armory to the southeast of us. Equip yourself as you see fit. And help us, please. 2,000 gold. Weapons have the strength to be used only a limited number of times. As you fight, their endurance drops. At zero, the weapon breaks and disappears from your inventory. Check your weapon endurance by placing the cursor on a unit and pressing the R button. You can also check on the item screen. The number next to the weapon is its endurance. Be careful, without a weapon, a unit cannot at enter combat. I think we're going to retreat for now. And have the enemy come to us. Good job, Will. Speed and defense. There we go. That takes care of the enemy archer. Now Florina can get some action.
Uh oh. Ken might be in trouble. Wow. Thank goodness that wasn't a death blow. I'm gonna have to have you fall back, St. Kent. Nice. More strength for Kent Sane. All right. Hmm. I like these odds. Draw your swords. We're not listening to any of your stinking apologies. Man, that's a lot of damage. Oh, thank gosh he missed. Ugh, 
You'll live to regret this, my brothers. The Ganellian bandits will not let this stand. That's finally taken care of. Lynn! Florina, why did you follow me? It's so dangerous. You remember the knighting ceremony at the, of the Pegasus Knights of Ilia? Yes, you joined a band of freelance soldiers to further your training. Is that what brought you here, Florina? Uh-huh. I wanted to talk to you before I set out. But when I went to Sake, I heard that you had left with some strangers and... You, were you worried for me? Thank you, but I'm more worried about you. Me? Listen, most mercenaries are men, right? Bands of men. I can't imagine you being at all comfortable around them. I know, I know. It's just, I've always dreamt of being a Pegasus Knight. I imagine I would just work it out somehow. After today, I'm not so sure. Maybe I should just give up. Farina, don't cry. Yes, there's no reason to give up on your dream. Hmm? Lovely Florina. I have the most brilliant idea. Sane. You should come with us. With the addition of Will here, we're a fine group of soldiers. And freelance to boot. Wait, did you just include me? Of course, we were destined to meet here. It's fate. Come now, lend us his band of mercenaries is as good a training group as you will find anywhere. Sane, this is no joking matter. Lindis? Um, Lynn? Mercenaries? I can give you the details later. This is all a bit rushed. However, Sane is right. Will you come with us, Florina? Travel with you, Lynn? Truly? I would be so happy. Fantastic. Beauteous Florina. I am um, a knight of Kaelin. My name is Sane. Eek! Stay back. Don't get so close. Ah, beautiful, and yet so modest. I beg your forgiveness calling us mercenaries. No, I approve. We can't leave Farina on her own. She requires special attention, though. Can you- can I count on you? Yes. You have but to ask. So, is it really alright if I travel with you? Oh, yes, of course. If you're willing, Will. Yes, I am Will, Ling. Actually, I'm very grateful. Truth be told, all of, all of my money was stolen, and I'm a bit at a bit of a crossroads. I would be honored to count myself one of Lindis's legion. Ah, uh, look at Kent in the background. That's a mood. Lindis's legion. This is getting stranger with every day, Patrick. After defeating the bandits, Lynn continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at a ruined fortress. The Ganelon bandits are in a rage after their brethren fell to Lynn's sword. They race in pursuit of the companions. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. Chapter 4, In Occupation's Shadow Ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bed. 
This mildewy old fortress? Is this the best we can do? Come, Will. Surely you jest. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyway? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As, as long as I'm at wind's side, I'll be fine. And for your protection, your man-at-arms Sane will be right here by your side, ladies. Sane, both you and I are to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, alas. Your pardon, my lady. Who's there? Hi. Forgive my intrusion. My name is Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Oh, she's got the anime mom haircut. This does not bode well. Ah, uh, ow. See what I mean? Are you alright? Hmm? Your leg. It's fine, don't... It's fine, don't worry. It's from a childhood sickness. I can't travel far on it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing all... out here all by yourself? I'm looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's a poor likeness at best, but his name is Dorcas. Do you know of him? I'm sorry. I don't believe I've seen or heard of him. I see. If you do meet him... Please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will. I promise. Uh-oh. Here they are. We finally tracked down the band that defeated Mega. So they decided to hold up in this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark, and then... You're an idiot. There are only a few of them, and some are women. If we attack them at night, I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. I will not be so wasteful. You're right, Car... Car... Jiga? You're so smart. We'll avenge Miguel and get some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows, maybe I'll be a leader after all. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Spread out in a circle. Hold the place, you rogues. Let's finish this before it gets too dark to see. Hi, you. Your name's Dorcas, right? Hmm. You haven't done much since you joined. If those weapons of yours aren't just for show. Oh, today's the day you let us see what you can do. Weapons? You mean... You mean his muscles? Hmm. I want you to attack from the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. And I want you to capture her. Do that, and I'll, I will increase your share of the tape. 
If you want gold, you'll get the job done. A bunch of women, huh? It would break Natalie's sweet heart to see me sink so low. Lady Lindis. Outside the fortress. Bandits. It's, what did you say? Persistent bunch, aren't they? What do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No. Natalie cannot move well. And that... That would put her in danger. Let them come to us. We'll fight here, within these walls. Patrick, take over. Take over. The command's yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Oh. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. In this chapter, your goal is to protect a special character for a set period of time. Keep Natalie safe for seven turns. Who you calling an NPC, you ASS? The fortress has two entrances. That's where we must meet the enemy. I'll take the eastern door. You and the others guard the main entrance. When the enemy far outnumbers your group, it's safer to restrict the battle to smaller areas. No matter how strong the enemy is, if he's attacked on all sides, he's sure to take massive damage. So the east door is Lin's, and the south door is everyone else's. Be on your guard. Strength, speed, and luck. Things are getting kind of dicey. Patrick, the fighter who just attacked me. Doesn't he somewhat look like the picture of Natalie? Doesn't look like... Doesn't he somewhat... Hunt? Look like that picture of Natalie's husband? You, tell me, are you Dorcas? Hmm. How do you know my name? Yeah. Natalie told me. What are you doing with these rogues? I need money. That may be. But 
joining up with mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold in these parts. I'll do anything, even this. For gold? Anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within the fortress. What? Natalie's... she's here? here? She was so worried that she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? Hmm. You're right. Well? I understand. I can't do this. I'm done with these bandits. Here and now. Really? Yes. And I would repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. You can sometimes turn enemies into allies. Dorcas is an axe-wielding fighter. Remember the, we remember the weapon triangle? Axes are strong against lances and weak against swords. Axes have more power than other weapons. But they are more difficult to hit with. Noise. Got an iron axe. Level up for Kent. I guess Kent's gonna be the speedy cavalier while Sane's gonna be the strong cavalier. What are you waiting for? She's just a child, a girl. Grr, get more men up here now. Uh-oh. Let's check, the, check his stats. He's got a C rank in axes. 7 strength, 7 skill, 6 speed, constitution 14, he has pretty low luck in defense. He's pretty much the glass cannon of the group.
Whoa. Nice one, Will. Usually archers suck in Fire Emblem, but Will wants to prove them wrong. That level up isn't helping matters, though. Two or three more level ups like that and he'll be useless forever. Let's go sane! At least she got a level up from that. More strength, since more strength and speed is appreciated. Didn't see that one coming. Oh yeah. That's what you, that's what you get for trying to sneak up on Lane. Looks like we got things running like a oil machine, and Sing got a weapon level up from that. Heal up Lynn. Wow. 
well, if there was one an area where she needed that level up most, it was speed. Dorcas has a lot of HP. Good job, Dorcas. I mean, that's a good level up. Hello, and goodbye. Really, dude? Oh, come on, that was a 42% hit, and that was an 86% hit. Well, at least we got him on the follow-up. More strength, speed, and defense for Sane. And really, that's all the... Uh, places you need stats the most. Not that the other stats aren't important. And Kent gets a weapon level up.
Curses. They're not human. Listen up, rogues. Retreat. Pull back. The enemy's fled. Patrick, we've won. Dorcas. I'm so sorry, Harry Natalie. All's well that ends well, right, Natalie? Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm? Why can't we just say our farewells today? Well, I... I spoke with Patrick. And... I've been invited to join your group. But we're going to lose you. I have to go somewhere to earn money. If you think I'll be of use, I'd like to fight for you. You helped my wife. I owe you. Dorcas. Please, Lynn. We are both in agreement on this. Watch over my husband. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns keeping watch. Please rest easily. Is that all right? Are you sure, Sane? Oh, er, uh, yes. Of course. Let me warn you. If bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What? Do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. See you tomorrow, Patrick. Let's go. Ha! Huh. No one ever trusts me. And I think we'll call it here. Thanks for joining me, and... And... We will continue with Fire Emblem, The Blazing Blade, some other time.